Brian Mueller saying hello from Bella Vista Thursday night. As you guys mentioned, the Broncos have a lot to be proud of this season and also showing their pride for our armed forces with special jerseys for Military Appreciation Night. But it was anchors away for Antelope first. Josiah Bateman hits Cassidy Cole perfectly in stride. A 60-yard score and it's 7-0. The Titans were without star running back Karam Borders due to injury, but Bateman and others stepped up. He finds Travon Watson and it's 13-0 early second quarter. About 90 seconds left in the half and Antelope at it again. Bateman rolls out and throws across his body to Dave even Witten and Witten will nearly make it into the end zone, dragged down just short. But no matter, Caleb Jefferson would punch it in, and it's 21 0. Not a whole lot of time left for the Broncos to get on the board in the half, but you don't need a lot of time when you have Carson Newman. He fields the squib kick, and we can all say hello, Newman. And goodbye as he has gone down the sideline. And Bella Vista has some life going into the half. 21-7. The Broncos would recover an onside kick to start the third. And here comes Newman again going against the grain. Oh, the humanity. Newman scores again. And the Broncos are only down 21-13. But that was a wake-up call for the Titans. Jefferson gets the carry, does a good job here just to hold on to the ball on his way to the end zone. And the Titans have some more cushion, 28-13. Still midway through the third, Zion Simmons does a little spin on his way to the score. Antelope starting to run away with it at 35-13. Still in the third, Bateman going back to the air. It's Cole again who stays on his feet and gets in for his second score of the game. The Titans wind up running away with it, 54-13 the final. Three straight wins for Antelope after starting 0-3.